Hello, I'm Rachel Thomas Medwid. Uh, my screenplay was the grand prize winner for the Emerging Screenwriters uh, Shoot Your Short 2020 contest. And the ISA invited me onto the development slate. And now I am a top 25 screenwriter to watch in 2021. It's really motivating. I, you know, I always look at that list and I've always wanted to be on it. And, but you know, at the time I was like, you know, I have to do more work to get on there. So it's always motivating even when I wasn't on it. And now to be on it is really motivating as well because, you know, you want to be deserving of the recognition. So it's, you know, definitely making me do more work, which is great. I've been writing, you know, probably since high school, uh, a lot of short fiction. Um, I think I remember like the book that that really made it set in was uh, Toni Morrison's Beloved. And I remember reading that and being just so struck by it. And that, you know, I've, I can't relate to this story or these characters, but that you could still have this really powerful reaction um, to something and that it was written differently, which I'm very drawn to. So that's the type of stuff. And I was like, wow, this is amazing. You can do this with language and you can make somebody feel like that who has no connection. And I, I, I like doing that, like exploring, like, you know, the human condition and things like that. So, yeah. And then, you know, I, I moved on from short stories to books and that's how I finally got into screenwriting, which wasn't that long ago. <laughs> so, but it's a great fit and I love it. My short stories are very literary. Um, literary and so you know what I was trying to write a book and um I couldn't finish it and I and I I was like what is the problem but I love the stories and the characters and I I realized I wanted to see it on a screen I was like well, I want my book to be made into a film so I can see it and then I realized I was also I I'm not sure I'd love to talk to more writers about this but um I was even my short stories I was seeing them all as little movies but I wasn't really putting it together. Maybe everybody writes like that. I don't know. But um, so anyway, so I was like, oh, well, let's just skip the book because that's really hard. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll, and so that turned out to be my first feature. But I got a book. I didn't, I'd never seen a screenplay. So I got a book on how to write a screenplay. And then I found it very freeing because it's different language. It's obviously language is still extremely important, but it's really different. And I was like, I whipped through like the, feature in like two weeks and I normally don't write features that fast but um yeah so I thought it was great I was like this is fantastic I'm very drawn to contests that you know the prize is going to be it being made um and at the time I think I had submitted I didn't have anything made I do now um directed a couple of films but that's still a huge great prize that's I mean I think as screenwriters that's what we all want is to see our work made so any contest like that is very appealing, but they're also extremely competitive. It, <laughs> so uh, it was really, really exciting to win. And it was, I was very surprised because we went from the hundred, I knew I was in the, the top hundred, the finalist. And I tend not to pay attention to contest notifications uh, because I mean, I could, you can spend your energy elsewhere. Like, so I submit and move on, work on other things. And so, so every now and then I get a great, great surprise like this one. And I was in the car with my daughter. I wasn't driving. I, and I looked at my email and I was screaming and maybe swearing. <laughs> and my daughter thought something was wrong. I was like, no, no, this is good screaming. <laughs> so it was very exciting. I think I would uh, tell myself to like kind of pay attention. There was a lot of signs there that um, screenwriting was probably like a good fit for my writing. Not that the other stuff wasn't, but um, I would have said, like I was making movies and uh, just the way I wrote, which I already talked about, like how I was seeing everything very visually um, and not really paying attention to that. I would say like, hey, can you put the pieces together a little sooner? <laughs> And then, because, you know, there's so much to learn about screenwriting, um, even though you can, you can do it without, you know, without going to school for it. And that, you know, I think a lot of people are self-taught, but there, there are a lot of, um, you know, little things about it that in continuous learning, you know, to get better. So, which I try to do all the time, but I, I do wish I would tell my younger self, like, pay attention and start a little sooner. <laughs> Well, I'm writing a new feature. Uh, that's a big goal. Um, I would like to eventually make one. I think I need a few more uh, shorts under my belts, which I have planned up what I want to do. Um, 
but I can't stop writing shorts. Like I, that's my problem right now, which is great that I'm producing, but I was like, I really got to focus on the feature. So feature, and I have a couple of features that I haven't done anything with um, that would need a lot of editing, uh, but I still like the stories. So revisit those. And then I have um, a TV pilot that um, I had some interest in recently. I haven't done anything um, with it lately, but I'm planning on revisiting that again. Um, so yeah, I got a lot, a lot to work on. Um, yeah, and just get more stuff made, write more, see where it all goes. <laughs>